Hi everybody, I'm Andrea Ali and in today's video I'm going to show you how to do your makeup if you're wearing eyeglasses. This video is sponsored by GlassesUSA.com so thank you so much for making this video possible. You know that I wear glasses and I do know that glasses can be quite pricey and sometimes difficult to pick. On GlassesUSA.com they offer prescription glasses at 70% off retail price. There are over 2,500 models of eyeglasses, sunglasses, everything you could imagine, sports glasses. What's great about it is that you could pick uh, the shape of the frame that you want. They have rectangular, cat eye, round. A complete pair of glasses starts at $48. Frames and lenses included in the price. When to become one. And you have no risk, you don't like them, you return them, you get 100% money back guarantee. What I totally love about GlassesUSA.com is that you can go online and they have a virtual mirror and you can try any pair and see what they would look like on your face. So let me show you how cool this is. So GlassesUSA.com, here on the left, you can pick the style of the frames. I chose cat eye and butterfly. Then I find a frame that I like. For example, this one, I click upload photo. Make sure you upload a photo where you look straight. Oh, yeah, that, that should work. And then adjust the photo so that the red crosses are on each eye. Now you can try on as many glasses as you want. After you found your perfect match, uh, then you can add your prescription for each eye and that's pretty much it. You can do the same with sunglasses as well. I found this really cool pair. I do have a great offer for your first pair when you sign in at glassesusa.com. Please check out my description box to see what's all about. Now these beautiful pair of glasses, they're called Batilda, but I do have another four pair of glasses that I would like to share them with you. They're all very affordable prices. Now let me show you how I got this simple look that I think it's just perfect for eyeglasses wearers. I'm starting uh, having my foundation already on because you've already seen me doing that uh, quite a few times. When you're wearing glasses, you can get away with a heavier eye makeup than when you're not wearing glasses. And, and actually my tip for glasses wearer is that you need to focus on eyes and eyebrows. So I'm gonna go ahead and start doing uh, my eye makeup. I'm gonna use the taupe and um, 7B brush from Anastasia Beverly Hills. You know how you contour your lips with a lip liner? This is pretty much what I do with my eyebrows. So I want them to be a little bit thicker. Now that I have the shape, I'm going to take the other color, the lighter one right here with the same brush and I'm really just tapping like I don't know if you can see like because what's amazing about this brush is that just by tapping it it creates the shape of a hair I'm just gonna take the spoolie and now just brush it like this clear brow gel just to set and discipline the eyebrows this way I promise you they are not gonna move obviously there is no universally beautifying makeup for eyeglasses wearers what I love about when wearing when I wear glasses is that I can get away with a little bit more makeup than normally and it, it would not look too much so I'm just gonna head and start with with this color right here, white peach, and I'm just gonna apply it 
under my eyebrows. Some more yum. And a 217 brush from MAC. And apply this into the crease. Then with the 228 brush from Zoeva, I'm just gonna take this color right here. It's called, it's called Cameralized, this one. I'm just gonna apply it at the outer corner. Now this is obviously going to give my eyes a little bit more of a depth and it's also going to give them more of an elongated shape right here, which I love. Then I'm going to take this color called Nectar right here and I'm just going to apply it in the inner corner with my fingers. I do feel that black um, during the day for me because I have pretty light skin, it looks a little bit too harsh. It gives me a very severe, like, kind of a look. So I do like to use these two pencils. So one is Teddy, the other one is Stubborn Brown. They are beautiful brown eye pencils. It's just that one has shimmer and one doesn't. So all the explanation that I did was for nothing because this didn't work. So what I did in here, guys, I started just by doing dots like this, just by pressing the eye pencil in between my lashes, like right at the base of my lashes, because you don't want to have that white space between your lashes. In here, I made it thinner. I would say that starting from where my iris ends, like right here, I am starting to make this line a little bit thicker. And as you can see, I'm not precise at all. I'm basically more like dotting this product. It is so much easier with the eye pencil than with the liner or whatever. Now, what you could do is also line, like just dot it basically, your lower lash line. You see how I'm not really specific where I'm applying this? So this is just going to beautifully contour my eyes. Now this is the, now this is how it looks. I think it's easy. But the trick is don't don't do like this. Like don't do like this because you're never really going to know where to actually start making this line a little bit thicker. It's so much easier when your eyes are relaxed. You just look in the mirror like this. And you just like, da, 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 da. you know, you can leave it just like that as an eyeliner. But what I suggest from my experience is that eye pencils don't usually last if you don't set them with powder. When I say powder, I mean an eyeshadow. And you can find an eyeshadow that is pretty much similar with the color of your pencil. So now I'm taking a 219 brush from MAC and smoke from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I just press the product where I have the pencil. If you wanna make it like smoky eyes, you could just start doing back and forth small movements like this right at the edge, but stay really, really close to the line. So when you stay like really close, you see, it's not as harsh, it's more like a smoky eyeliner look. Yeah, pretty much something like that. Now let's move on to mascara. I'm going to use this Better Than Sex uh, from Too Faced. It makes my lashes huge. If you have really long lashes or if your lashes are touching the lenses of your eyeglasses, then I recommend you to use mascara only at the base and just skip the tips of your eyelashes just because it's so annoying if they touch it they just smudge it all over the the lens Ugh, annoying under no circumstances i recommend the false lashes now the highlighter i'm gonna use this one from hourglass this is the ambient lighting palette and as i said in my makeup essentials video i just mix everything together like this this is extremely subtle, but I like it. Now the lips. With this pair of glasses, I chose this lipstick. 
from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is in a color Ashton. Ooh, I love it. Let me show you the other lip colors that I've paired with all the other glasses that I have in here. Now for these pair of glasses, I chose this Fuchsia. Is that how I call it? Fuchsia. This is from Sarah Hub. And I, I just dotted like that on my lips. I, I think it looks so much fun. I love it. I can say I love all the glasses. Well, I chose them. Uh, but these are my favorite. Like, out of everything I have, these are my favorites. And I've paired them with Half Red from MAC and Trophy Wife from Huda Beauty. I do want to mention that they are the only ones out of all uh, five pairs that do leave a mark right here. All the other four pairs, they don't have that problem. I think that happens only with the glasses that have, um, I don't know how you call this. How do you call these things? Now, oh my goodness. These are like statement frames. I couldn't think of anything better to pair it with than just some lip balm. Because obviously the com the color, it's so strong, like in your eyes. I don't think you need any more color than this. Besides, I think it looks good with the, with just a balm. I've used, um, I've used the 8 hour lip protectant from Elizabeth Arden. Now these frames, Amelia E. Graham, that give me such a 60s vibe. I've paired them with the lip liner from MAC. This is an oak. And then the... Dose of Colors lipstick in a color No Shade. This is the one in collaboration with Desi and Katie. So 60s, so beautiful. Now I have a pair of glasses for every single makeup style or hairstyle that I wanna wear. Thank you so much for watching and thank you GlassesUSA.com for the beautiful glasses I got. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already. And don't forget to check the description box where I've put a really great offer for your first pair of glasses. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye! You know you can open that door by yourself. You can do it. You don't need me. You're a big boy now. I know, he knows, everybody knows he's gonna jump on that door. He's gonna open it. There we go. Amen.